Hello everyone, this is the challenge question walkthrough for Edexcel's Pure Year 2 textbook, Chapter 1. Okay, our first question is from exercise 1D. Express 5x squared minus 15x minus 8 over x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 as a sum of fractions with linear denominators. So this here is telling me to use partial fractions. So to use partial fractions, we need to first express the denominator here as a uh, product of its linear factors. So if we can spot any values of x which make this uh, denominator equal to 0, we can use the factor theorem to find a factor and use polynomial long division afterwards. So if we look here, if we try x is equal to 1, our denominator is equal to 1 minus 4 plus 1 plus 6 which is equal to uh, 4, so x equals 1 isn't a root, but we can spot if we have a minus 1 here and a minus 1 here, then that will give us 0, and if we're plugging x equals a minus 1, we get minus 1, minus 4, minus 1, plus 6, which gives us our 0. So we know that by the factor theorem, x plus 1 is a factor of the denominator. And now we can use a long division. So polynomial long division with x plus 1 on the outside and our denominator on the inside. So our first term on top is going to be x squared, which will give us our x cubed. And then we'll have plus x squared here. And taking these terms away, we have uh, minus 5x squared here. Taking the x down. Okay. Our next term will be minus 5x to give us our minus 5x squared here and minus 5x here as well. And we can take these away, and we'll have uh, 6x here, and taking the 6 down. And finally, our last term to give us our 6x plus 6 will be 6. And we can factorise this uh, factor even further into x uh, minus 3, x minus 2. So we have that our fraction is equal to 5x squared minus 15x minus 8 over x plus 1, x minus 2, and x minus 3. And if we set that equal to a over x plus 1, plus b over x minus 2, plus c over x minus 3, and we multiply both sides by x plus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, we get 5x squared minus 15x minus 8. It's equivalent to a x minus 2, x minus 3, plus b x minus, uh, sorry, x plus 1, x minus 3, uh, plus c, x plus 1, x minus 2. Now we can let x be certain values. So here, if we let x equal first minus 1, then the b and c terms will equal 0. So we have that 5 times 1 minus 15 times minus 1 minus 8 is equal to a times minus 1 minus 2, which is minus 3, and minus 1 minus 3, which is minus 4. And so we have 5 plus 15 minus 8, so that is 12, is equal to 12a. So we have a is equal to 1. Now, if we let x equal 2, then we're just left with the b term. So on the um, left-hand side, we have 5 times 2 squared, so that's 20 minus uh, 15 times 2, which is 30, and minus 8. And on the right-hand side, we have just the b term. So that's b times x plus 1, so that's 3, and x minus 3, which is minus 1. And so we have uh, minus 18 is equal to minus 3b, so b is equal to 6. Okay, finally, letting x equal 3. We have on the left hand side 5 times 3 squared, so 45, minus 15 times 3, so that's minus 45 again, minus 8 is equal to c times 3 plus 1, which is 4, and 3 minus 2, which is 1. And so we have minus 8 is equal to 4c, so c is equal to minus 2. Okay, and to finish off, we have that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 6, and c is equal to minus 2. 
And that is our final answer. Okay, and our final question for mixed exercise one. The line L meets the circle C with centre O at exactly one point A. Proved by contradiction that the line L is perpendicular to the radius OA. So because this is a proof by contradiction, we must start with an assumption, which in this case is going to be that um, the line L isn't perpendicular to OA. So what this means we can say is that if we draw a line through O which is perpendicular to L, it will meet the, the line L at a different point to A. So like this. We can say that this will be a right angle. And so if we look at this triangle in more detail, it looks something like this. So we have O, the centre of the circle here. We have A, which is where the um, tangent meets the circle. And then we have our point here, which we will call B. We know that the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is the longest side. So from this triangle here, we know that OA is greater than OB. But we know that B is a point outside of the circle. So the length OB must be greater than OA. So this is a contradiction. And therefore, we have proven that uh, the line L is perpendicular to the radius OA as required. And that is the end of Edexcel's Pure Year 2, Chapter 1. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you for Chapter 2.